sun President's report to the 17th National Convention 17th National Convention dated July 25, 2021 La Carlotta City, Negros Occidental Welcome to the official PGBI's YouTube channel. For more information, please visit us to the official websites of the Philippine Guardians Brotherhood Incorporated www.pgbiguardiansonline.net This is the first time that I have the honor of presenting a President's Report to our 17th National Convention. This report will cover the leadership of the Office of President for the last two years. Under the bylaws of PGBI, specifically Article 6, Government, Section 7A, the duties outlined for the Office of President are as follows. Article 6, Officers of the Organization, Section 7A, President. The President shall 1. To act as the chief executive of the organization. 2. To preside in all official meetings of the National Executive Council. 3. To represent the national organization, unless otherwise delegated, in all activities and social functions requiring its participation. 4. To appoint national officers and to exercise supervision and control over all officers, properties, and members of the organization. 5. To direct and supervise the overall activities of the organization. In addition to my duties and responsibilities above. A. I am an ex officio member of all committees. B. Perform all duties that are incidental to the office of president. C. Be responsible to the executive council and to the national convention. D. Make written reports on the administration of the office and on the affairs of PGBI to each regular meeting of the executive council and to each convention. E. Responsible for the administrative management, control, and allocation of staff in the national office. Although the office of the president is directed by the specific duties listed in our bylaws, direction and or guidance is also received from the supreme governing body of our organization, our national convention, the national executive council, national committee, and PGBI general membership. I have tabled written reports at each of the scheduled National Executive Council meetings since the last convention, which were published with the minutes of the meetings in our national websites. It has been a busy three years for the membership, local executives, and leaders, as well as the national executive. Much of the work of our national officers and local executives has kept them occupied on an almost full-time basis. I would like to formally thank the general membership for their support to our organization. It must be stated clearly that without the membership, we could not accomplish anything. Our membership has shown repeatedly their commitment to achieving what is important to them. Their support in our endeavors directly affects the outcome of our efforts. This was true while we were at the recovering stage for two years now, as well as at the time of writing of this report, as we return to a new normal working condition. We have had many activities and meetings, both during our consultations with our local health officers and local management at all levels, or just attending our local meetings. We must always make sure that our membership is engaged in their chapter activities. The local executives and founders deserve recognition, as they are the front line of the chapters for the membership. They are the ones who listen to members, 
represent them at the initial stages, deliver the chapter message and conduct the daily, weekly updates. Their work is invaluable and priceless to the organization. The success of our sacrifices and hardship at the local level can, in large part, be attributed to the chapter executives and founders. I know that at times it feels like a thankless job but dedication, caring, drive, and perseverance always keeps us going. The PGBI National Headquarters recognizes that we are not dumb to be taken for granted. I want to thank the members of the National Executive Council NEC. They are all opinionated, passionate, and very vocal, to say the least. However, for the past two years, I can say that we have worked together as a unit regardless of any differences of opinion. We experienced a significant change in the members on the National Executive, which brought a different dynamic to the table. Nonetheless, focus, resolve, and dedication remained as the foundation for their efforts. We have new faces of leaders in all levels as leaves and branches of the old PGBI tree falling and broke one by one as they can't handle their ways against the wind of changes. Those were natural phenomenon of maturity. I would like to thank our National Executive Vice President and Legal Counsel Attorney Pedro Leslie FRMGPLS Salva, for giving his best advices and wisdom steadily especially when I solicit for it, and the same with my one advisor attorney Seldio FRMG Stago P. Longo. Finally, I would also like to thank the chairwoman of our national secretariat Sis Maria Lorenza RMG Lois Madriago, and her better half-brother Rogelio FGBF Rambo Madriago, who work side by side with her and staff for their contribution to the general membership. Their daily work and their efforts with the national committees remains exemplary. We have had some new additions to our staff over the last three months, my own brother Victor Jose RMG Boots Gamet and his daughter slash member Miss Jenny VMG Dale Gamet. Also, Juvi, wife of RMG Boots, worked for us temporarily as our ID liaison officer when we were short of manpower and both did an excellent job. I wish them both all the best. In June of this year Glenn FRMG Hawk Domingo retired from his work, and we wish him all the best on a well-earned retirement and thanks for his dedication and as a hard-working leader, he may rejoin us in the leadership. I would now like to look back on some of the major issues that we have faced since our last convention. ID Maker Equipment Immediately when I assumed office last September 2018 after taking my oath, we acquired new computer and printer including other office equipment for our national secretariat. We also acquired a new laptop for the ID maker so with the new printer. We finally completed a long process of stabilizing our ID maker's office and fixed the equipment with the best and excellent services. Finances I fully support the changes that have been introduced over the last two years to better manage spending and our assets. We need to continue to watch our funds, control our spending, account for our expenses and plan for the future. We should always be looking four or five years ahead. A donation BDO bank account was opened for the receiving sponsors, donations, and pledges from sponsors and donors. The state of our organization finances is also very important to PGBI members. Effective financial control and monitoring within the NEC is one of the issues that PGBI delegates demand at every national convention. 
it is necessary if PGBI members are to get value for their dues. Communication I know that we have continued to improve our communications with the membership over the last two years. The following are some of our activities in that regard. The invaluable work of our Information Technology and Communications Committee led by Engineer Lord Nino FRMG on and Paminchuan. The proposed PGBI newsletter, in the process. The free access system on our national website. The timely updating of our website. Our new and improved national website. The continued updating and distribution of our publications. The continued training aspect in modules of our President's Conferences. The PGBI training modules and sessions on specific issues that are conducted either nationally or regionally. The updating of our computer and technology needs. The reporting of the work of all of our committees our regional and national conferences, to be done. I personally subscribe the Zoom application with the support of Arabian Sea Chapter, and soon as it expires, we will be upgrading into an organization-wide accessing more than 500 members and hosting simultaneous meetings at the same time. PGBI National Executive Council, Board as National President of the Philippine Guardians Brotherhood Incorporated, I am a member of the National Executive Council NEC, where I represent the interests of our members. The NEC meets 10 to 12 times, monthly, a year. I have voted in accordance with PGBI policies and in the best interests of our members on all issues. FRMG PLS one of our remaining slash living incorporators is always present at the meetings, providing not only input and counsel, but also providing an additional set of eyes and ears so that nothing is missed. There are times I feel like a lone wolf at these sessions and I often struggle with the decisions taken there. It has become obvious over the years that less of the business of the PGBI is done through the NEC and is instead handled by our legal counsel, Secretary General with the help of our National Treasurer behind closed doors. Rest assured, however, I have always voted with the PGBI membership in mind. PGBI National Committees the committees have been extremely active in pursuing their mandates and reporting to the membership through their minutes or executive council reports. Bulletins and or memoranda have always been issued in a timely fashion to and for the local membership. The committees all work toward improving not only their respective creation but also strive to communicate results and or collect necessary input more effectively. Most of the committees are autonomous with the chairs keeping the national president informed of their progress. National Executive Council NEC, Activities The following is a list of some of the items that the council has dealt with over the last two years. Increase the list of approved non-PGBI events. The unfinished business from the last convention. Adopted the committee assignments. The interlinking and collaboration of regional, provincial, and local chapter leaders into chat groupings and consultation groups. Enhanced the membership, recognizing members, and accrediting of chapter process. Continued to support the local government programs and organization both financially and by sending volunteers to work donate their own blood with Philippine Red Cross, PRC, each year, chapter fully member, and also decided that if, in a given year PGBI does not receive a qualified applicant for a donor and or member, the monies that would have been spent be donated to PRC directly. 
maintained PGBI resolutions of record, created new locals chapters in the provinces to help alleviate some of the problems with reaching the members in that region. The unfinished business from the last convention, developed lecturing modules emphasizing the needs of knowledges, the organization history and all the governing rules, regulations, and processes reallocated and or approved items, as required. Adopted several recommendations from the Honors and Awards Committee to present various awards. Adopted proposed changes to the Constitution and bylaws to submit to this convention. Chapter leaders met with the local government officials at the provincial and municipal levels on a variety of activities and protracted memorandum of agreement with local police in the community assistances. We have started drafting our first manual of instructions where all procedures, steps, and instructions are being specified in order for every member to familiarize and master the instructions to have more orderly and procedural processes. The successful amendment of the 2014 PGBI Constitution and bylaws with minor changes, and the most highlighted one is the addition of an article about the, the National Founders Council. The success of registering of intellectual copyrights on the PGBI logo described in our constitution and bylaws as the sole proprietor or sole custodian to World Intellectual Property Incorporated, WIPO. Our National Secretariat. As I always telling that the National Secretariat is the heart of the organization that acts as the distributors of information and good images making the organization a lovely assembly of good people. Some of its notable changes and improvements are as follows. Rationalize and enhance the membership processing of membership, chapter accreditation, promotional processes. The compilation of records into one fold as such the membership roster. The centralization and effective coordination among regions, provinces, and municipal chapters. As of June 30, 2021, we have seen some 6,431 ID-bearing members have initially received their new ID for the year June 30, 2021 to June 29. 2023 from the previous years, we have recorded from 1800 ID bearing members registered from our actual members of 6647 last 2019. We have 66 officially accredited chapters from our total growing chapters to 187 chapter local and 23 chapters overseas. Our health and safety. The PGBI Standing Committee on Ways and Means have solicited some amount that need reaching the unfortunate typhoon victims in Region 2, 3, 4, and 5. The committee worked very hard soliciting and collecting donations both in cash and in kind that were distributed with the victims with a vast amount of valuable canned goods, noodles, milk, sugar, and etc. for their own emergency relief. My thanks for a job well done. Three regional representatives with the coordination with National Secretariat. Distribution was held at various places in Cagayan, Isabela, Nueva Vizcaya, and Baylor, Aurora, as a prelude to the national call. These proved to be a great helping opportunity for many victims across the eastern part of our country. The regional organizers, FRMG Glow, FRMG Inning, FGBF Luke, and FRMG James should be very proud. To my knowledge, the PGBI is one of the first organization to provide such emergency assistances for their membership Typhoon's victims. My final comments. As a member of the council, I have had the opportunity to work with the assembly of very dedicated people and for that I thank them all.
while the nature and responsibilities of our responsible is sometimes controversial, we have remained a cohesive and respectful group, always working in the best interest of the membership. This is a time when our locals must be the strongest, they can be. We must be open and proactive leaders and most importantly, encourage and allow membership involvement. The leaders, with the help of their membership, are the key to our success. They must become part of the solution. Remember, all you need to know can be learned from Noah's Ark. 1. Don't miss the boat. 2. Don't forget that we're all in the same boat. 3. Plan ahead. It wasn't raining when Noah built the ark. 4. Stay fit. When you're 100 years old, someone might ask you to do something really big. 5. Don't listen to critics, just get on with what has to be done. 6. Build our future on high ground. 7. For safety's sake, travel in pairs, and do the necessary precautionary measures required by the IATF slash Ministry of Health. 8. Two heads are better than one, hence you need to look for a pair. 9. Speed isn't always an advantage, the snails were on board with the cheetahs. 10. When you're stressed, float a while. 11. Remember that the Ark was built by amateurs, the Titanic was built by professionals. 12. Remember that woodpeckers inside are a larger threat than the storm outside. I want to highlight a major challenge we continue to have regarding local leaders in fighting. Let me start by offering the following quote from one of the great leaders. However, I continue to see local executives spending a lot of time and energy fighting among themselves. This is neither productive nor healthy for the membership of a local. The only ones that this hurt is the membership and it certainly does nothing for the credibility of the organization with the leaders. Hours and hours are expended by local, regional, and national officers dealing with this issue and it has to stop. We do not have to be best friends and like everyone to work effectively with them. This was something that I addressed at the first president's meeting after I was elected two years ago and it seems that no matter how many times I try to address it, it still doesn't go away and frankly I am at my wits end on this issue. If you are involved because it is all about you then you are not here for the right reasons. There is no me in PGBI. But all I have been hearing for a while is me, me, me what is in it for me? That attitude is not the PGBI way. Our members should be the first and last thought on everything that we do and in the decisions that we make. Our membership should be the reason and motivation for everything we do, including why we are involved. And yet, local infighting continues to be the greatest challenge in our organization. This problem has been going on for far too long. We do not seem to be able to get through to some people. It is time for all to look inwards at themselves and determine why they are involved. Over the last two years, I have seen locals almost destroyed from infighting, laziness and lack of leadership. I have personally witnessed members or past executive officers whose prime objective has been to destroy the local from within, merely to show that they are the ones that should be the executive. Most of these have been for very selfish reasons or personal vendettas. The PGBI membership deserves better. These types of actions are despicable and only hurt the true meaning of brotherhood. We are here for the members, to work and unite on their behalf, to treat people with respect and dignity, and not for self-validation or to belittle someone else. 
when you hear of people who complain about other executive officers, or who put others down, or who are obstacles to stop progress, no this is not for the membership but for these persons only. We need to stand for the members. I have been involved in the organization since October of 1996. I have held almost every possible position and one thing I have always done is look at everything through a membership filter, how this will affect the members. I would be remiss if I did not take this opportunity to acknowledge and thank Sister Maria Lorenza RMG Lois Madriago and his behalf, FGRF Rambo, Attorney Pedro Leslie FRMG PLS B Salva and his behalf for sharing his wisdom, and to Brothers Gil FRMG Shima Corbs, Rommel FRMG Pointer Ronquillo and Leopoldo FRMG Paul Romero and of course our overseas chapters for their many contributions and continued support over the past years. To them, they are the real superheroes. Also, to my family, that have always been there for me, and I am so proud of my daughter Alyssa Camille who is here at this convention, and who is the chief IT operator someone to carry on the family values. To my wife Desiree RMG Alyssa Gamet I would never have been able to get through the years without you, my heart and soul belong to you. Thank you, my love. The above is a broad overview of some of the work that I have been involved in over the last two years. It has been my true pleasure working for the benefit of PGBI. Being a member of PGBI is both an honor and a privilege. Thank you all for giving me this great opportunity and honor to represent you as the PGBI National Chairman slash President. To end, I will quote Abraham Lincoln. The strongest bond of human sympathy and understanding outside the family relation should be one uniting working people of all nations and tongues and kindreds. Respectfully submitted and in unity always. Engineer Meliardine G.S. Melgamet, P.E.E. National President slash Chairman. Fly